CTV's Paul Hollingsworth. All right, thank you, Maria and Jacqueline. Steve Murphy is off. And now for Wednesday, December 29th, this is CTV News at 6. Tonight, holiday blues. Stranded travelers running out of patience. The worst part was no one being able to help you. I just wanted to get home, and no one was helping me get home. Also, estimates rising, flood victims adding up the cost from December storms. We've got houses that are never going to be inhabited again. Uh, they're beyond any, uh, any form of reasonable economic repair. Snow survivor, young boy home and safe after hours on the outside. He was just sitting there, he had his boot off, holding his boot, and when, I, when he seen me, he put his hands up. And bargain hunters, the post-Christmas shopping rush is on. Well, we've never had a year that's been under the year before, but this particular year was a record year. Live from our Maritime News Center, this is CTV News. Here is Paul Hollingsworth. Good evening. We start tonight with more holiday travel mayhem. Many Maritimers are just getting home after being stranded for as many as four days. Others are missing New Year's. Some passengers were actually forced to drive from one part of the region to another when their flights were cancelled. Here's CTV's Kayla Hounsel. Ali Rabahi arrived at